The votes are in. The Baseball Writers Association of America selected the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame class of 2016. And they are Ken Griffey Jr. and Mike Piazza. Ken Griffey Jr. received 99.3% of the vote, a new record, and breaks Tom Seaver's 98.8% set back in 1992. Electing Griffey into the Hall of Fame was a no-brainer. Nicknamed the Kid, the center fielder boasts 13 All-Star Game selections, 10 consecutive American League Gold Glove Award in center field, and seven Silver Slugger Awards. He was also the American League MVP in 1997 and the All-Star Game MVP in 1992. He is currently the Mariners' all-time leader in home runs and ranked sixth in baseball history with 630 round trippers. During his 22-year career, he played with the Mariners, Reds, and White Sox. Catcher, Mike Piazza, was finally able to clinch his spot in the Hall of Fame with 83% of the vote after falling just short of the required 75% for induction last year. A 12-time All-Star, Piazza won the most Silver Slugger awards, 10, and hit the most home runs, 396, of any catcher in big league history. He was unanimously voted Rookie of the Year in 1993, and the first catcher to collect at least 200 hits, with 201 in 1997. Piazza also won the All-Star MVP award in 1996. He played 16 seasons with the Dodgers, Marlins, Mets, Padres, and Athletics. 17 former players returned to the 2016 ballot after receiving at least 5% of the overall vote in 2015. A few of these names include players like Roger Clemens, Sammy Sosa, and Barry Bonds, who have been tainted by performance-enhancing drug or PED scandals. Only 475 ballots were mailed out this year, a large decline from years past. Some suggest that removing older voters may help PED stain candidates in the coming years. And who won't you see on the 2017 ballot? According to the new rules, players can only remain on the ballot a maximum of 10 years instead of 15, making this the last year for first baseman Mark McGuire at 10 and shortstop Alan Trammell, who was grandfathered in and remained on the ballot for the full 15 years. Also, players who fail to get at least 5% of the vote are thrown off the ballot for good. In 2015, 12 first-timers including first baseman Carlos Delgado missed the cut. As for this year's Hall of Fame class, their induction will be held July 24th in Cooperstown.